folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We've got a cloudy day upon us. The water's a little bit murky. So I'm gonna open up with the gold sting nose minnow. And I've got the one ounce size right here. I'm gonna go with the one ounce gold, folks. And I've got just a small size zero snap on here. I'm just gonna snap it on. Okay, that's it, that's ready to go. Now, I'm also gonna tip that. I could fish that as is, but I happen to bring some eye drops with me, folks. So what I'm gonna do, what the eye drop does, is it basically, it's gonna change the angle of the fall, it's gonna uh, keep the hook away from my line, it's gonna add some scent, and it's an extra attractor. So, again, the sting nose work very, very well, just as is, but why not put an eye drop on and have some extra extra scent and a little extra attractor and all I'm gonna do folks there's an eye on both sides of course right but uh, you don't want to poke it through the eye you poke it through the the plastic in between the eyes just like that so your eye shows okay that's what you want to do all right and the technique is gonna be very very simple I'm just gonna get myself a little bit into shallower water but you know what, I'll drop it here just to, to show the technique. Two techniques, dropping it straight down, letting it hit bottom, and then jigging it up. So basically, down you go. Jig it, pause it, jig it, pause it, okay? This is not where I wanna be right now. Uh, I wanna be up there a bit further. It's just a bit deep here. But just to show you the technique, the other technique, folks, is to cast and retrieve. So you can work these like you work any jig. Just because it's a jig and spoon doesn't mean it has to be vertically jig. So you can cast it out, let it flutter down, then you have two options. You can actually bounce it back off the bottom, or you could bounce it back suspended. So just lift it up and let it bounce down. Now, if you lift it up only six inches that's kind of like twitching so that's more of a very finesse style but if you lift it up higher you're getting a higher bounce on the bottom that's a little more of an aggressive approach so i'm going to start off today with the aggressive approach and see if i could trigger a hit if i don't trigger a hit with the aggressive approach then what i'll do folks is i'll slow it down okay and i also brought silver with me because i know they're feeding on smelts and minerals out here but I'm going with the gold because of the cloud and the murky water. So we'll see how the day progresses. I'm just gonna get back there. So you see those where those waves are? That's where the, the depth changes, and that's where I wanna be. I wanna be focused on the key area where the depth changes. It's a little shallower there. That's where the fish are gonna be, and I'm hoping to get into them, so stay tuned, folks. Oh my goodness, folks. This one did a hit and run. He hit at the back of the boat. It took off to the side of the boat. Oh, and it's a little shaker. Oh, it's a beautiful little brown trout, folks. Beautiful little brown. Yes. Very nice. A nice little shaker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at them. They go crazy, these fish, folks. They go crazy. Oh, that's a beautiful brown. Oh, yeah. He's in the bag. Look at that fish, folks. That is a gorgeous gorgeous brown trout you know what you'd go up to cottage country to get a to get a fish like this tangled up in the net a bit yeah I think I'm gonna want a photo of this fish I'll have to get him out of the net but he's got the hook just caught in the net there just a bit but look at that fish isn't that a beauty look at that brown trout folks okay I want to get him I want to get him off and back in the water quickly. Quick photo and we'll put them right back in again. Okay, folks, what a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. We're gonna get him back in the water again. Nice bite. Let's get him in. And away he goes. I just love seeing them swim away, those dark spots on their back, they look gorgeous. All right, looks like the gold, it looks like it's gonna work. I'm gonna stick with the gold, folks. Go back up and do myself another drift, get out of this very rough water. Okay, here we are for another drift. So what I was doing there, folks, was the cast. I just cast it out, and I let it hit bottom, and I was bouncing 
it back. That was the technique. And it was rather aggressive. So I noticed there's some birds. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there are some birds here flying around. So that means the bait fish are here. And what this looks like, when you're using any jig and spoons, it looks like an injured bait fish. So I'm just jigging it. And as you can see, my lure is going to the back of the boat. That's where he hit. He hit back there. And then he just took off like a bullet off to the side. That was super, super exciting. Okay, so let's see if I can do that again and trigger myself another hit. In fact, I'm going to give myself another cast up there. I have more control when I'm off to the side of the boat. The current, folks, is so strong between the current and the wind today. So the one ounce, the one ounce is helping me stay down there and stay in control. So I can, you can tell when it hits bottom because you get a little thump. And I actually like bouncing it right off the bottom. So there we go. Okay, folks, let's see if we can trigger ourselves another hit. I gotta tell you, oh, my sting nose stopped suddenly, just stopped. And my line, my rod just doubled right over when I set the hook. Wow. You're talking big fish here, folks. It's gotta be a lake trout. Oh my goodness, when you're doubled over like this, solid, solid fish, solid hit. My goodness. Oh. We're in 22 feet of water right now. And did he ever hammer that sting those folks? Wow. When you set the hook and you think you got bottom, you know you got yourself a serious fish. Where's my net? Of course, on the other side. Oh, where the brown troll was. Okay. Oh, he's still green. Oh, it's a beautiful lake troll, folks. It's a beautiful, beautiful lake trout. He's got me doubled, doubled right over. Holy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is great fishing, folks. I just love working these jig and spoons. Love it. Ah. And the sting nose, of course, is my absolute favorite. Let's take a look at this fish. Look at that, he just came off. Didn't even have to use the needle nose, folks. Gotta love that. Uh, you can see, unfortunately, my line got wrapped around him. I don't know if you can tell on the top here. See where my thumb is, just where my thumb is. You see there's two lines, one there and one there. 
a little bit where the line got wrapped around him, but you know what? He's no worse for wear. He'll be just fine. What a fight. Oh my goodness. All right, you ready, Larry the Laker? See you later. on a day like today and I tipped it I tipped it with the silver uh, eye drop I could have went with chartreuse because the water's a little bit murky but I thought you know what I'll try the silver and see how it does but you know what so far <laughs> I'm gonna say see how it does I'm gonna say it's doing pretty good so and it looks like the cast cast it out oh just to readjust the drag cast it out and bounce it back retrieve seems to be what's working so I'm gonna stick with it I'm letting it actually hit the bottom and then bounce it back but I'll tell you what folks brown trout lake trout two drifts two fish two different fish I don't know is it getting any better than that nailed it on the cast in folks feels like another brown trout as I cast it in I'm letting it fall down on a semi slack line and with the braid, I felt every, of course, floor carbon leader. He just nailed it on the way down. I think it's a brown trout just because it's not that heavy. I could be wrong. It could be a little laker or it could be even a steelhead. I don't know. He hit it on the way down, folks. Uh-oh. What do we got? Maybe it's not a brown. I don't know. Oh, I got a glimpse of him. I couldn't quite see him. It's a nice fish. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at this fish, folks. Look at this, it's a beautiful brown. Oh my goodness. That is a dandy brown trout right there. Oh yeah, hook right in the side of the mouth. Okay, that's worth a photo right there, folks. Are you kidding me? That is one beautiful, look at that brown trout. Look where he's hooked. Nailed it right on the way down, on the flutter down. He just hammered that bait. Okay, a quick photo for Facebook and Instagram. I might even leave that gold stingles right in there and then we're gonna get them right back out again. Wow, what an exciting hit. Look at it. Stocky, solid, thick, solid, stocky fish, folks. Beautiful, beautiful brown trout. Now, you see how thick he is? It's because they're feeding like crazy, folks. They have, this is not a spawn fish, they spawned two months ago already. All right, whoa, okay, see you later, Mr. Brown. Oh my goodness, folks. Brown trout, lake trout, sting nose magic. That's what I call it, folks. This is unbelievable fishing. Time for me to get my sting nose back in the water again. I'm stuck there, I'll get it off. It's just caught on the rod holder there, but we're gonna get my line right back out there again. This is just too much fun. I don't know folks, wherever you're tuning in from, I want to say thanks for joining me on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.